Hello everyone and welcome to this Ramadan special video. Uh, this was meant to be released on Tuesday as part of our Tuesday teaching tips, but as Ramadan is fast approaching and um, I literally there will be no time for me to do it. Some of you may already be familiar with uh, the blog, so mamateachesme.com, and on there I've shared a week by week plan. And as I mentioned, we're kind of focusing on four themes for the four weeks of Ramadan. So I'm just going to recap. Week one, we're focusing on what fasting actually is, uh, because last year we didn't really touch on this. I didn't explain this. I felt there was no need to really explain this to Amara. She was only, she, had, she hadn't even turned four. And by week two, our focus turns to the Quran. So we're focusing on Surah Alaq, which is the Surah that Amara is now memorizing, Alhamdulillah. And we're going to go through the story of how the Quran was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And week three is all about giving in charity and in gifts so that we start preparing our Eid cards uh, by that week as well. And the final week of Ramadan will be all about um, the last 10 nights, obviously, and Laylatul Qadr and, of course, the power of Dua, which I'm really, really looking forward to uh, teaching Amara more and more about, inshallah. So, as I mentioned, I do plan to share the full plan with you at the end of this video and if you subscribe to the blog then you'll easily receive it in our newsletter inshallah which so I, I just wanted to talk you through the plan myself so it all made sense because i tend to write quite short form it is uh, my own personal plan i haven't and just a quick note is that these activities are fairly short and um, they won't take up the whole day or an hour they're just simple activities but it is quality time it will be quality so the first week is really pretty much food related it's about getting the kids hands on in the kitchen and to be honest i'll just about be prepared for what i'm doing for the iftars and the sahur so it's a great way for my kids to join me uh, the arts and craft activity that uh we plan to do is designing our own iftar plate so my children thinking of ideas of the best sort of iftar that we could have as parents and of course what they would eat along with us and then simple food activities which i'm actually going to give to uh, amara and hiba as their responsibility is to fill the dates with butter and almonds i've mentioned this before it's something we did as a family when we were younger and it's absolutely delicious we're hoping also to discuss ramadan around the world and I've got something, which I don't want to mention now, but something in mind that we're planning on, uh, which will be really exciting. I know my kids will love it, and it'll just be a nice way to see a bit of Ramadan around the world. And then, of course, I'm going to be using this week, I'd like doing it in the first week, is making the iftar plates for our neighbours. And I really push Amara and Hiba to be the ones holding the plate and taking it to our neighbours' homes. And uh, it's just such a nice activity, and they love helping. And I wanted to end with a really simple sort of book-based activity and we plan to read the lovely book Bismillah Soup um, and I probably plan to make some of our own as well. And the second week, as I mentioned, is all about the Qur'an. So we're going to start by reading a portion of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam seerah of what happened in the cave of Hira and, you know, literally going through the surah. And as I mentioned, that's the surah that Amara is currently working on to memorize her surah alaq and i've already half mentioned it to her just to encourage her one of the days when we were practicing uh, so she kind of knows what the word iqra means already then to help us remember the story uh, of the first revelation i thought it'd be nice and also to get hiba involved do something sensory where we're going to use some clay so i need to go buy some to make a cave so to make a cave and talk about what happened and because this week is all about the Qur'an, I wanted to focus more on what is it that the Qur'an teaches us. Like, I know it's so uh, early yet for my kids, but there are some really basic things that we can actually teach our children, and I'm going to show you how. So many of you probably know about the words from the Qur'an activity um, by Fitra Learning, which I think they're called now. Uh, so we've done, we did this, I think, a year or two ago. And but of course, for Hibba's sake, we're still going to cover those and it'll be a great recap for Amara. But we're also going to be looking at these ABC verses of the Quran by the Odd Muslimah. And I've mentioned this before in one of my blogs. And there's something else that I absolutely love that I want to share. I just printed this today and this was sent to me by Nurturing Naseba. So shout out to you. I did ask her where she 
managed to find this amazing uh, resource, but she said it was a forward, so there isn't a link back to. So with that activity, um, I had an idea, and I really want to make Amara, or make with her a book about our lessons from the Quran, or what the Quran teaches us booklet, taking the lessons and the topics that we have in there. And so we're going to use these, and I love that there's pictures, so it just that visual gives the kids, you know, it helps them to interact a bit more and they get to colour it in. And there's the Arabic as well, so they can practice that. And then there's a translation. So that's pretty much the Quran week. After we focus on how the first revelation came about, we're going to be looking at what the Quran teaches us. So actually learning from the book itself. So week three is all about giving in charity and in gifts and thinking about others. So we plan to talk about those less fortunate than us and have a read over the books we have in our book box and then make a very easy sadaqah jar. Now, because I want to challenge Amara a little bit and I want her to practice her reading through our very creative and fun activities, I printed this instruction sheet and some jar labels from Twinkle and I want her to be able to read the the instructions and what she'll need and see if she can try and with a little bit of my help of course and see if she can try and uh, see how she could make very simple sadaqa jar. I remember I said this plan was actually specific for us, it still is. So uh, we're here in Makkah, alhamdulillah, so we are going to be decorating some shukran or thank you envelopes and putting some money in for the cleaners of the haram. But you yourselves could do the same, you could either be money in envelopes or it could be donations online whatever it is the point is it's all about giving in charity so find what works best for you it, where you are and then i'm hoping also we can prepare some sahur snacks for some of the pilgrims at the haram as well and you can do the same i know when i was in england my mum used to always prepare uh, i think iftar mainly but for the people at the masjid so i'm sure that's something you could do together with your kids as well and by day four of that week, we talk about orphans. And this, I know, will be a really interesting discussion uh, because, alhamdulillah, mashallah, Amara is very empathetic and she will really feel for the orphan. I, I want to see what she would write if she was to write a letter to an orphan, which reminds me this would also work well uh, if you plan to adopt an orphan for charity. Which and then the end of the week is just going to be quite fun and easy, hopefully, writing out Eid cards for friends and family and I'm going to see if I can try to get Amara to practice some brush lettering with me. We'll see how the final goes. week is by then it will be Laylatul Qadr. In fact, it will probably be Laylatul Qadr in week three as well. That's why I left it to very simple so Eid, decorating's, uh, Eid cards and decorating sort of tasks. Uh, but by week four, we will be really focusing on Laylatul Qadr and uh, Alhamdulillah, both my children, oh, well, Amara knows this surah and Hiba's actually memorizing it. So they're really excited about this word, Laylatul Qadr. So the, word, the week will be all about the power of dua. Uh, and this will reinforce with the girls why it is that we recite certain duas. And we're quite good with the dua before bed and the dua while in the car. And before we focus on the forgiveness dua, I want to go over some of the du'as that we're not very good with, like say, going to the toilet or you know exiting the toilet. Oh, we do actually do the one as we're leaving the house most of the time as well. And so we will be making du'a, so they can be practice making du'a with me, which they kind of do anyway, but I'm gonna kind of go into details about the du'as that Allah likes, so praising Allah, and the ones we can make for the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the crafts are quite easy, They'll be sort of just making a Laylatul Qadr night sky, which I could show in a moment. They did one last year, but it'll be nice for Hibba to join in on that one as well. And then also a forgiveness to our hands. This is the Laylatul Qadr night sky. We used um, foam, I think it is foam, and then glue and some stars. We stuck a moon on, and this was our sort of take on Laylatul Qadr. And then here's our dua hands. I actually hung it up. Um, Really simple, they traced around the hand, decorated it with glitter, I think they did the afters and stuck on the verse, uh, the dua, sorry, and the translation. And on the final few days of week four, we actually need to pack our bags, 
and go back to England uh, for the summer. So we'll be explaining to Amara why we won't be fasting that particular day so she'll get to understand that when we're traveling, we, we won't need to. That's pretty much the four week plan uh, that I mentioned in one of my earlier posts, but with the day by day detail of how I plan to do it. So I really hope it's helped you. I really so I'll be sending out the plan, like I said, to uh, anyone who subscribes. So it will go out in the newsletter, inshallah. Otherwise, uh, I hope the details and the further explanations in this video ha really helped. Uh, please feel free to share, subscribe and like this video. Jazakallahu khairan and assalamu alaikum.